What's up YouTube? This is The Vocal Citizen. This is Vocal Citizen Reacts. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, welcome. Very nice to see you here. Fair warning, I am The Vocal Citizen. I say what the fuck I want. I hope you're cool with that. Uh, if you are, let's fucking ride. Today we're going to be doing Chinchilla Fingers live for Hunger TV. Uh, I've not heard this song. I've only heard a few Chinchilla songs, but I fucking love her. I'm obsessed already because <laughs> her voice is phenomenal. Um, yeah, so uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video. Definitely comment down below. I, I do my absolute damnedest to answer every single comment that I get. And then when I answer that and you say something else, I cover those too. So very interactive in our comment section. I'm very proud of the community that we're building. We're on the road to 4,000. Uh, we do have some merch coming soon. It might seem a little preemptive uh, because I'm, I'm early on in my channel life. But uh, all of the merch is going, it's going to be sayings that I have used my whole life. And if you rock with my personality, I think you're going to rock with the fucking merch. So stay tuned for that. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. I don't want to do just a whole lot of talking like I normally do. At least not at, in the intro. <laughs> let's go. You guys ready? I'm super excited to hear this. Like, it's chinchilla. So automatically, I'm going to fucking love it. I <laughs> just know it. And all of you been blowing this fucker up. Are you ready? Get a drink. Let's go. Bingo. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Probably some illegal. Panicked and you said hello. Swallowing the words you say. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. She's she's ramping up to 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 really start. But let I mean, let's all just fucking let's all just clap out the fucking outfit, bro. Like what the fuck? I love she's got her signature hat, but the fucking dress, the sculpture, I guess that's a shirt perhaps or a jacket, I don't know, but it's fucking rad. And her eye makeup, somebody who used to work for Chanel in, in their cosmetics, uh, her eye makeup is fucking spot on. She looks gorgeous, as she always does, and she's already killing me with the fucking voice. I'm backing it up. Let's fucking go. Oh, God. I just did my makeup. I'm not going to make it through this song without crying already, I can tell. <sighs> I'm backing it up just for a second for technical reasons. <laughs> I know you guys see this shit right here. <laughs> it's driving me nuts that it's in the picture. The skulls will never <laughs> fade. So mean okay. me to o'clock the same as always. Favorite spot. And one by one, <gasps> I'll cut your thing. Clean off so you can never pull me down. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> she's getting into her sadistic bag, and I am fucking here for it. Oh, wow, the little music boxy shit that she just did with the uh, the strike on the on the what was that? An A? I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh my god. Uh, this is gonna kick my ass, isn't it? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is gonna be this is gonna be a long video. I can tell already. Maybe not. I don't know. But her voice is just oh my god! It's just delicious. Her voice is so amazing, and she just takes you there, doesn't she? Oh, shut up, Deborah. Press play. Bye. When I cut your fingers clean off. Oh my god! So you can never pull me down. One by 
one ah uh, box them up scream murder no you can never hurt no one oh this is yummy so tell me where you're gone gone oh. and tell me is the fun gone whoa maybe i should shed a tear Okay, I'm afraid for the person she's singing to. <laughs> like she's so her acting ability, her 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 spontaneity, whether it was planned or not, it comes across as spontaneity. Just, oh, I love wonky sh I'm weird and wonky, and I love weird and wonky shit. Fucking hell, bro. I like her earrings. Random. Oh my god. Every, every chinchilla song I hear, I just, I, I become more and more obsessed. Oh my God, I want to see her in concert. I want to interview her for my channel. I, 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 I want to pour all of her songs into a tub and take a bath. Oh my God. All right, I'm going. It's your fault, people. You're the one who told me to listen to the song. If it's gonna blow my mind, I'm gonna fucking talk, okay? I love you guys, <laughs> let's go. trying to kill me but I've already danced with the Grim Reaper three times in the last ten years so you don't phase me a bit Jesus Christ like what the fuck is this oh my god the song is so I mean oh. the one out of five that I did that was I mean somebody really pissed this woman off somebody really hurt this woman because look at the, I mean, the last two, this one and, and one out of five is crazy. But the way she puts it, the way she articulates the emotion is not the in your face stuff that most of us would, okay, let me write down the idea. And any of those words, she doesn't use them. She completely comes at it from a poetic standpoint and just paints the fucking picture in your brain so you can witness it yourself. And on top of that, this video is fire. It fire and her performance, especially I, I wanted so badly to back it up right then when she was talking to her hand and she was looking at her fingers, even the rapidity of her blinking, just the, the, the blinking and the, and the tension around her eyes, the micro expressions that she must have been feeling it because it's difficult to replicate micro expressions <laughs> um, at the apropos time, but oh. Uh, I could go on for 20 minutes. I want to listen to the rest of the song. We're up to nine minutes already. God, but you know we're going to back up for the note. I'm the vocal citizen. You know we're going to back up for the big moment. Come on. Let's go. Let's, I'm hopefully going to let it ride. Cross your fingers. No promises. Fuck. off with you oh my god oh I can't breathe and when, when cut your fingers clean off Woo! so you can never pull me down one by one I'll box them up scream murder yeah oh my 
my so God. You can never hurt no one. And if I were you, I wouldn't want to fall asleep. Cause karma's coming back for you. And she's in the shape of me. Oh my God. Karma's gonna come for you and she's coming in the shape of me. Fuck off with you, Chinchilla. With all due respect. <laughs> come on, bro. She just, she just, she actually just decided what my new tattoo is. Yeah. That line is gonna be, is gonna be my next tattoo. For my own personal reasons. Just look up Genesis 9-6. Oh my god. She just, uh, thank you, Chinchilla. You just designed my next tattoo. This fucking song is incredible. It's incredible. The video is great. The hottie behind the keyboard is, uh, I mean, come on. And uh, she composes her own shit, yes? I mean, she might have a little bit of, but she, for the most part, she conceptualizes her own shit, which means I want a ticket for a tour through her brain. We're actually letting it ride now. For you. And she's in the shape of me. And if I were you, I would want to fall asleep. Cause karma's coming back for you. And she's in the shape of That so keep them close to you. Put your keys in your knuckles like I have to. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do this. Bro. What? <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm not entirely certain. I, th the meaning of the, I thought it was, I thought it was sinister and vendetta and revenge. And it was. But I thought it was about, from a relationship perspective. <laughs> but when she said that fucking line about putting your keys through your, like, she has to put her keys through her fingers. I get what it's about. At least for me, that's what it's about. But that's all my ovarian human sisters out here okay those of us who walk around with lady parts in our pants know what i'm talking about because how many of our moms taught us that when you're walking to your car you keep you put your longest key and you grip it in your fist so you have an added advantage am i completely off the cuff because i didn't know shit about this song until i started recording this reaction video except that you guys really fucking wanted it and yes this is gonna be a hella long video but if the oh <sighs> I've been carjacked and I was forced at gunpoint to drive, which I did. I was young. I was in my like mid twenties and instinct played in the role when I got pulled out by my, out of the car by my hair, when I was forced to drive to a, a, an abandoned parking lot, I got pulled out by my hair and the car was still running and everything. I just got pulled out. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> you can you can move on to the next video if you want to. <laughs> um, but I got pulled out and drug away, and the attack, the assault was was about to start. It was still the struggle, and something I disconnected, <laughs> disconnected, and something came over me that wasn't me. And I just remember flailing and kicking, and I was wearing really, really chunky heeled shoes at the time, and somehow, I, it, it did spots, but I remember running 
back to the whatever, I don't even know how far it was, back to the car to dive into the passenger seat the way I was pulled out by my hair. And I, I, expe I remember expecting to hear a gunshot and to for everything to go black because he robbed me or he, he carjacked me at gunpoint. But somehow I managed to get into the car and then the next thing I knew I was driving and then I was, I blanked out because obviously I was in shock. The, the act didn't happen. It didn't like there was no, not even the shell hadn't come off of the situation. If you, if you get what I mean, drove all the way back to my sister's house, accidentally hit her ex-husband's car as I pulled into the parking lot and they took me inside and asked me if I was okay. And I don't remember what I said, but I do remember them pointing out that there was blood on the heels of my shoes. So TMI, perhaps, sorry if it was triggering, but this is my truth. And I have this, my tattoo here, you probably can't read it, but it says through chaos comes instinct. And I was watching a Metallica uh, documentary. I think it was the making of some, uh, some kind of monster documentary uh, from Metallica. And Lars Ulrich, the drummer from Metallica, said this quote about his musical process through Chaos Comes Instinct. And as soon as he said that, I broke down into tears. And I got it tattooed on me because of the carjacking incident. So when she's talking about having your keys in your hand, that's how, I, that's how my brain equated it. So you want an actual reaction video, outro, this is it. Because this, I mean, obviously I love the song and her voice is phenomenal and it's fucking fire, but it struck me right when she said that and luckily I didn't start bawling because I don't want to have to redo my makeup. But I felt it was important right in that moment to share that with all of you. Do with it what you will. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm not going to try to be pithy and entertaining not after that, gut punch. For all of you who requested this song, thank you. I needed it. Karma's coming for you, and she's coming in the shape of me. Going right there, okay? And I just vomited out one of the hardest experiences of my life. So, love you guys. Uh, please like the video, and I'll talk to you later. Vocal Citizen out.